And the depth of Rav Yudin Nesiyah's kasha, excuse me, before we turn over, is that what happens if someone hears his friend saying, Harini Nazir. And at that precise moment, his Rebbe walks by. So he has to say, Shalom Lecha Rebbe to his Rebbe. But if he does, what happens? If he does, he's no longer able to say, Vani. So if you didn't see us bothered and says, you must have an extra moment. So you could greet the Rebbe. And then a moment after you greet the Rebbe, you'll still have the amount of time to say, Vani. And we turn over to Chavalev Omer Aleph says, The Gemara Tanin Ami Achi. And as much as perhaps Rav Yudin Nesiyah seemingly has a good question, excuse me, says the Gemara in the Tabo Chaval of Amenalev, let's bring a raya to Reish Lakish from Abraisa. Says the Abraisa, Misha Amar Ereni Nazir. So he says, I'm a Nazir. Veshavach Avera and his friend here is Veshach Kedei Dibor. And he waits the amount of time to, to talk, to say, Shalom Lechem Rabbi, Vamar Vani. And he says, and I, who aser v'chaveroi mutter. The halacha is, it does not chal on the other person. V'kam akidei divor, k'tei sheh l'shalom talmud l'rav. So an explicit b'raisa like Rish Lakish, that if you wait that extra moment, then the Nesiros is not chal. Says the Gemara, Lema misayeh alei. Let's bring another raya. So that's one price is a raya to Rish Lakish. Now let's bring a raya from our Mishnah. Five lines down. Chaval v'menal misha amar harini nazir. V'shama chaveyo and his friend here is v'amar v'ani v'ani. Says the Gemara. V'sulo. Is this only applicable if two people here and they sran v'ani? Meaning, for the fact, according to our view, the Nisiyah, it should have said four times, Shalom Alecha Rabbi Vani. Says the Gemara, one second. Taniki Rochla Lech Shavaleza. What do you mean? You're learning that Vani is specific. Only two people can say Shalom Alecha. Says the Gemara, that's ridiculous. It's not what it means. Does the Tana have to literally count like a peddler? So says the Gemara, okay, good question. But if it's true that the Tana doesn't have to count like a peddler, let it just say one time. And then the others will be pushed if one person can say Vani, certainly a second. Answers the Gemara Hachanami. You're right. Really, it could have just said one Vani. In the Seifa, we had cases when one is Mutter, the other is not, one is also, the other is not. That's the reason why it's inferred that there's a middle person. And that's why the Mishnah said a case where there's going to be multiple people showing that there is such a scenario. But you're right, the Mishnah is not a riot to Rish Lakish. So, the Mishnah is not a riot, but the Gemara does stick that we already had a riot from the aforementioned Bryce on the top line to the opinion of Rish Lakish that how much time do you have to respond to Vani? The amount of time of Teichid Edibar, which is the amount of time to say Shalom Alecha Rebbe. Continues the Gemara about turn lines down. The first one line is Katani Ibayilu Chad bechavre mitvas Idilma bekama mitvasi. Says the Gemara, how does it work when each person says Vani? Is he grabbing hold of the previous person, or is he going back on the original person? Lamai nafkamina says the Gemara, who cares? Regardless, he's becoming a Nazir. Says the Gemara, you know what the practical ramification is? Let's fu say. Umezel. The practical ramification is if it continues linking on to the next person. If you're telling me that each person grabs hold on the previous person, then it could go forever. Each person vani could continue to the next person to the next person. However, so then it's only a matter of time of the Teichide Dibur of the original person. So the original person says, Harini Nazir. So the second person can say, Vani. The third, per- the third person can say, Vani. The fourth person can say, Vani. And then that's it. Why? Because by after that person, it's out of the time period of Teichide Dibur of the amount of time to say, Shalom Alech Rabbi. Whereas if each person is linking to the previous person, then it can go up to 100 people. Each one is within Tachdei Diver of the previous person, 
says the Gemara, my, what is Pshad in the Mishnah? So Toshima says the Gemara, Hare Ninaz Yerveshav Chavei Ravamar Vani Vani Vesu Laim Midi. Is it only two people? Shema Mina Bekamo De Mitvesi. So must be says the Gemara from the word of the Mishnah that it says Vani Vani must be that referring back to the first one. These are good idea because if you're going to tell me Chavei Chavei Liv Mitvas Listi Tuva Vani then should have said many cases of an I meaning. If it's going on the pre on the first guy, then vani vani in the Mishnah makes sense. Then it makes sense because that's going to be the amount of time. Uh, excuse me, I, I read the Gemara wrong. Yeah, let's go back for a moment, and I'll make a lot more sense. Again, one more time. Says the Gemara. I read it as a question. It's wrong. It sounds like only two people could say vani. And therefore, Shema Mina become the mitzvah. That is the raya that is going back on the first person. Why? Because if each one is going the previous one, listen to Vavani, then it should be able to go forever, as we explained. So why would the Mishnah only say two Vanis? From the two Vanis, it seems to indicate that only up to two people could become a Nazir pinned on the first guy. Why? Because it's being pinned on the first guy and only two people are going to be within Toich Kedei Dibur. And as the Gemara, everyone anticipates the Gemara's answer, what's the Raya? Tana ki rochla lechsha v'lezel. What? Does the Tana have to go and spell out every case like a peddler, each and every vani? So it says the Gemara, the same kasha, let's say chad v'lishmin and kula, just say one. Aidi te katani huta harisha and hotar kula on the same raya. That's the reason why it says Vani. Says Gemara one more time. Does Shema? Let's try again. Hotar Arisha Notar Kula. And the Mishnah said that the first one is allowed. They're all allowed. Hubrisha Nude Sharu. Haim Sai Loi. What does it sound like? Sounds like that is only when the first one is uprooted, the first one is mutter, then they all fall like dominoes. I am so lie. But it sounds like, let's say number three guy would have his Naziris uprooted. It would not continue the domino chain. So Shema Mina, become a Mitzvah Says the Gemara, it's a beautiful Raya, then it must go back to the regional person. Because if each one was pinned on the guy before him, then even if the middle one falls, the guys after him should fall. Says Gemara, no Raya. Each one is pinning on the next one. Dominos. Therefore, but and therefore, since I D to buy misna hotrukulan, since the Mishnah wanted to give a case with her all mutter. So says the Gemara. It's left after the reason the Mishnah said the case of Rishain. It's to teach this Chedesh that they're all mutter. But Eino Hanami says the Gemara really would be the same case if the middle guy was uprooted, all the people after him would fall as well. So Tashima, 20 lines to the bottom, the first line is Tashima, the Gemara tries being another right. If the last one was uprooted, only he is mutter. Says the Gemara, why do you get in the best Because there's no one after him. What's the implication? It's the same thing as the previous Raya in reverse. Avalem Sai Dikra Achrina Basra. Mystery, it would be Mutter. Shema Mina, Chav Chavre Mitzvah. So seemingly only the last one is because no one falls because there's no one after him. But it sounds like it would be guy five, then everyone after him would fall. Seemingly, it is a game of dominoes. Each word is in his spinning back in the guy before him. Answers the Gemara, no, Lailam Eim Lacha, but Kama Mitzvah, and I can tell you. And again, every Lailam Eim Lacha is a decoy. The Gemara is saying it's not conclusive. I could tell you it's going back on the first person. My Achra, the Tani Em Sai, Vai Tani Risha, and Tani Achra, and Toshima, the Gemara tries one last time. The Tanya Bad, it says explicitly, Otar Risha, and Otar Kulan, Otar Achra, and Achra, and Otar Kulan, and Suran, Otar Em Sai, and here it is. After all the tries to bring a riot from our Mishnah, which fell flat on their face, we quote a Brisa that's explicit. Says the Brisa, Hotter em soi, Hey menu, Ulemata motor, 
Heyman ulamalo aser. From him and on his mother, from him and before his aser. Shema mina says the Gemara that is a clear raya. Chad bechavrei mitvas. Shema mina, and that is a conclusive raya. Continues the Gemara, the two dots, three lines from the bottom. Chav alif amir alif, quoting the next part of the Mishnah. Rini nazir v'shem chavir of Amar. P kepeh, my mouth is like his mouth. Sairoi kisairoi v'chulu. Says the Gemara, what does it seem to indicate from the Mishnah? Mishum da Amar. P kepeh, because he said my mouth is like his mouth. Sairoi kisairoi. Harini nazir. It sounds like only if he utilizes this type of wording that he says, my mouth is like his mouth, my hair is like his hair, that's going to be a case in which he's going to be a Nazir. But ask the Gemara as we turn over to Chaval for me base. I'll ask you a contradiction. Yedei Nizira, Yodai Nizira, Viraglai Nizira. Says in a Mishnah, says in a Bryce, excuse me, my hands are Nazir, my legs are Nazir. Loya Mark, let me say nothing. Roishi Nizira. Kivedi Nizira. If he says, my head is a Nazir, my liver is a Nazir, then I raise a Nazir. Zakla, this is the rule. Tovar Shani Shama Teluya Boy, I raise a Nazir. So I asked the Gemara, you just told me, if he says his hair, his hands, it's a Nazir. Why? We seemingly see his hair, his mouth, excuse me, it's only something that in his Shama is totally an integral limb. Like. His kaved, his liver, like his rush, like his head. Says the Gemara, Amar Av Yudah, Damar, no, it's no question. Because it's as if, it's like he said, Yasepi Kipiv, Mayayin, Bisayri, Kisayroi, Beligzois. It doesn't just mean he's mentioning the items. My mouth should be like his mouth, that I won't have wine. My hair should be like his hair, that I won't cut my hair, and that's the reason why it works. But it's not a contradiction. If one were to say, your dine is zero, then it does not work. We continue five lines down. The two dots are in the zero. So if the husband hears, and the husband, his wife becoming a Nazir, and he says, I'm also a Nazir, and he wants to afterwards go and be made for his wife's Naziris, he is not able to. Ibayulu asked the Gemara fundamental Shaila, a Shaila that we had a few days ago, a Shaila that we had in Adarim. Baal meokar oker al dilma migaz gaius. How does it work when a husband wants to be made for the Nadarim of his wife? Does he uproot them or does he sever them from that moment onward? Lamayna afkamina, who cares? Leisha shaynadra bin Azir, a woman became a Nazir. Vishama chavrusa, and her friend hears va'am ravani, and she says an eye. And then Vishama, by the shalri shaynavafal, and the first husband gets rid of her Naziros. Now, is it going to be a case of a practical difference whether the husband uproots from beginning or severs from that moment onward? uproots from the beginning. The second woman will also be mutter because there's nothing for her to pin her Naziris on. However, if you're just severing, the first will be mutter, the second woman will be usher because until that moment she was a Nazir and just uproots it from. That moment and further, my says the Gemara, what is the halacha? So Tashima, the Gemara tries to prove 15 lines down. The first word on the line is Ishtar from our Mishnah. If one becomes an Azira and the husband says, and I he cannot do it, root it. If you're going to tell me the husband just cuts it off, I don't understand. Why can't he all cut away his wives and he'll still be Yasser? El Alav, from our Mishnah, Zaraya Shema Minah Baal Me'ekara Akar, that he uproots it from the beginning. And he can't uproot it from the beginning because he himself agreed that there should be an Aziris when he said, Vani. Says the Gemara, no, Raya. Loi lo make us guys. Who but they know the for law really should be able to undo it. By the time it's all much to the Mefri, you know what? He cannot keep in the Amar Lo Vani. Command Amar Kaim Lachi Dami. It's as if he was Makuyimit, like we read in the Mishnah. And that's the reason why he can't uproot it. It's not because the way that a husband is made for is that it cuts off and it doesn't uproot. Really, it does uproot. So, why in the case of our Mishnah could he not? Because since he said Vani, since he accepted upon himself Nazirus after his wife accepted Nazirus, that shows that he wants it. It's a form of Hakama. It's a form of. 
of uh, of um, of certifying the neder, and that's the reason why he's not able to undo it afterwards. And therefore, if he wants to be shayl in his akama, that he could do. But if not, he cannot undo it. And therefore says the Gemara, it's not going to be a raya, whether a husband is uprooting or whether he's severing from that moment onward his wife's nidarim. So Tashima, the Gemara tries again. Then she separates the animal. Then the husband undoes it. Im shelai haisa behemoth. The animal was hers. Tetev tira bei there goes out and grazes in the flock. Vim shelai. Excuse me, if it was his animal, if it was hers, haisa behemoth chatos tamos. It has to die. So proves the gemara is achdeh ba meyakar akar. If you uproot from the beginning, tevik lechulin, the animal should be nothing because it's as if his wife never did anything. Aye, she said she's an azir. She separated an animal. Who cares? The husband rolls back the clock and he uproots it from the beginning. El alav says the gemara. You know this is a raya ba meyakar guys. From this rice, it must be a raya that the husband severs it from that moment and onward. Says the Gemara again, really uproots it. Really, I can tell you he does uproot it, but it's as if it's a kind of case of a chatas that the husband dies. The Gamiri, the chatas shemes ba'ileh tamos. That is the reason why the animals don't have to die. But not necessarily is there a riot from here that the husband just severs the Nidaram from that moment onward. We're going to stop over here. The next Tashima is going to continue all the way on to tomorrow's daf, in which we're going to continue trying to figure out when a husband does his wife's Nidaram, what does he do? Does he do it originally? Me'akar, akar, uproots the whole thing. Or is he me, guys, he cuts it off. We'll pick up from here in the next year. B'siyato, vishmayo.